I'm sorry we haven't really been talking about the book this week because the thing is writing a book and just finishing the book doesn't do you any favors it's about crafting the book and getting into the hands of a community where it can do the best service for you and for your business so you need to market you need to market your book This for me is pretty much the sequence of what you should be doing as you build your marketing plan going forward. Make sure you've got a website, think about a podcast, but certainly get on guest podcasts. Think about who can I connect with? That's a really, really big part of what you should be doing right now. Think about what's happening now with the, the, the final stages. You've got your book, it's, it's almost edited, if not already edited. You should be uploading to Kindle very, very soon. Get a PDF done, put it on your website, and then thinking about ongoing promotion. Because also what, at some point in a couple of weeks time, in a few months time, your book will be out and you have to create ongoing evergreen campaigns to market your book. Otherwise it will sort of fade in importance and, and significance. So we don't want that. So where do you concentrate first? I think this is the process. You, 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 you have to build all of these in my view. You don't have to do all of them to the max. As I've said, it is the graphic equalizer strategy. Pick different elements. And at certain times you want to be working working on partners, at other times you'll be wanting to work on podcasting. So it changes over time. It's not set it and forget it. It's tweak your activity when you're marketing your book, depending on where you are in the cycle. So we're coming up towards the full launch. So I want to be doing guest podcasts like crazy, and I want to be working to find partners. So here's my top 10. Top 10 top five you need to be focusing on partner building at this stage once you're getting close to publishing finding building networking with the men and women that perhaps you know perhaps you don't and sharing with them something that they can share with their customers clients their communities that will lead them back to your book and your business and your services guest part podcasts should be your second strategy partners partnering your first strategy guest podcasting your number two strategy it's about getting into other people's communities and leading them back to you gently by the hand. That's, these two are your best bets at getting traffic, getting visitors, building an audience, building a community back to your, to your home base, to your platform. And that's what will give you security for the future. When you want to launch your second book, for example, when you want to launch your next training program, your next consulting service, your next product, your day job. If writing a book is to promote your book, your business, then you need to have a community that you are looking after. So nurturing, partnering, guest podcasts, your top two marketing strategies, but all five need to be a part of your plan overall. Just a quick recap of the five people that I've mentioned. Michael Hyatt, go take a look at Platform University. Uh, consume all the free stuff. Just reassure yourself that it's about your website and your social um, platform. Don't spend too much on this area, but Michael Hyatt, uh, is probably the um, got the biggest reputation in terms of managing this area. Pat Flynn is your best bet for setting up your podcasting, explains it really well, especially if you haven't done anything like that before. Really good setup, shows you exactly how to do it on his YouTube series, uh, How to Start Podcasting in 2019. If you want to take your existing podcast or your existing knowledge to the next level, Cliff Ravenscraft is your man. Brilliant, brilliant uh, tutor very good mentor, knows inside out exactly how everything works, would urge you to take a look at him. A little by the by, Music Radio Creative. Take a look at Music Radio Creative. I will send you links to those guys. They do awesome stuff as well. Uh, Tim Grahl, really, really uh, wonderful man. Uh, lots of really useful resources, really good for, I keep saying really, um, Tim has a, 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 a range of clients in the business area in nonfiction book writing. So for me, potentially for you, a lot of really helpful resources, really helpful resources. Uh, Tom Marcus, amazing resource for you if you want to build your uh, networking ability and, and to reach out to influencers. So go to tommorcus.com slash influencer dash marketing dash how dash two. Come on, Tom, give us a better title than that. Uh, I'll put a link in the notes. Paperless. Put a PDF on your site. Kindle. Nick Stevenson, your first 10kreaders.com. Really funny guy. Uh, love his stuff. 
uh, but really detailed and thought-provoking on using Kindle as a magnet to attract people to your site. And uh, list building, you're talking about Brian Harris. Take a look at Video Fruit, uh, particularly videofruit.com until they change it to growth tools. Awesome, awesome detailed blog posts about how to get into other people's communities and attract their, you know, get, get their names so that you can build your own community. And finally on Facebook ads, Mark Dawson at Self Publishing Formula. So marketing is your responsibility. Your book is a startup for the community that you want to build. Um, you know, I'm sorry we haven't really been talking about the book this week because the thing is writing a book and just finishing the book doesn't do you any favors it's about crafting the book and getting it into the hands of a community where it can do the best service for you and for your business so you need to market you need to market your book remember we're in the end game now and we're going to be talking less and less about the craft work of creating a book and more and more about getting the book into the hands of the men and women who really need to be reading your work. Hey, thanks for watching. Three final things. Hit the like button and subscribe now to get all my new videos. Post your question in the comments. I answer every single one and, and I'll see you in the next video.